no Aotearoa, ahau. Um, ka nui te mihi ki a kauta katoa. Um, kei te haere mai te wā, ka whakatū mātou he hui mō te tahi kaupapa nui ko te permaculture convergence. Uh, ka haere mai rāta ki tō mātou kura, te kuro o hirangi, uh, a te wā o te hararei, kei te ātiti tiro a hau, kei te whai ki mua, ngā whakaaro, e pāna ki taua mahi tino whakahirahira mō mātou. Te whakatō kai, te tiaki i ngā taputapu a papatua nuku, te tunu kai, te ngā momo āhua pai mō mātou i roti i tō mātou whenua. Nō reira, paere mai, nau mai, kuhu mai i roto i tēnei kaupapa tino nui. Kia ora! Kia ora, ko Shane Tiki Waitoko Ingoa, he uri au no te whana apanui, no Rotorua hoki. E kuraina ana hae ki tēnei kura te kuro hirangi. And my name is Shane Tiki Wai, and I'm very much looking forward to the convergence, permaculture. Kia ora, I'm Mike, I'm the caretaker here at Te Kuro Hirangi. I look after the grounds and the buildings and uh, I enjoy what I do, so that's why I do it mainly. No worries there. But you know, they can. I was, I was told that they were coming and what they were supposed to be doing and everything, and I just sit and go for it. Good. So that's, all, that's all I can, can say about it, just as long as they enjoy what they're doing. You know, they're allowing all these gardens to go in, who's going to maintain them? See? I've got enough gardens to maintain now. See what happens. No worries. Tino Kaita, ko Kai Debi Tibi Waitoko Ingoa, ko Hai Te Kaya ko Nga Tamariki Tau Tahi. My name's Debi Tibi Wai. I teach the year ones, the five year olds. I think it's a real bonus that we're going to get a pizza over there with this because I love pizza. Tino Kaita Katoa, ko Maria Macaulay Toku Ingoa, he Kaya ko Ahau no Te Kuro o Te Kuro Hirangi. Kai kona iau e whakaakoa ana i o tātou tamariki mokopuna mo ngā rangatira mo a pōpō. Mo tēnei kaupapa nui, ka tū mai ki kuna ia tērā wiki, ara ko te permaculture convergence. Kai te tino tautuko au i tēnei kaupapa whakaherehira i te mea, i tēnei au hurihuri, kai te hinga haere o tātou nei ao, nā reira he tika nei kia ako tātou me pehea te tiaki pai i a papa tuanuku kia tino whai oranga ko mātou ona uri. Nā reira, nau mai, hara mai, piki mai, kake mai, tēnā rakoutou. Rakoutou katō, e te whāna o te ahurihuri, te me tūtahi ki te ātua, nāna nei ngā me katō, me hoki ko rangi nui e tui honei, ko papa tuanuku e takoto nei, i roto ki, i roto i ki a mātou, tō mātou mātua, koina he te me nui o te ao, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. So my greetings to, my greetings to all those wherever you are, in regards to the blessing that is unfolding, and has been unfolding for some weeks now, here in this, uh, this special place, uh, Ngāti Tūwhare Tō, and more so to a tomato fire called Lisa Eshuit. Uh, we have here also um, two specialists in the field, Brian and Joan, from uh, Coromandel area, who have come here to support the kaupapa uh, here in regards to the permaculture and self-sustainability. Permaculture, 
I guess for me, uh, permaculture sort of felt like a new name, but the, the concepts are old. But permaculture is, is beautiful and is for this time for all of us. And I guess we need that name permaculture, regardless of culture and creed, uh, to more so bring about an awareness for more people from all walks of life. And especially here, there are permacultural families that have been doing it for years, especially through their elders who have passed the skills on to their families. And uh, I feel there that's quite a lot of the homes around Taupo Nui Atea, uh, the lake, where they grow their own food. I also feel for here from Ngāti Tuwharito, we have such a richness of land that whilst one is looking for work and unemployed and so on, we have the hands of our ancestors to do what? Grow food. There's such a potential of the richness of the soil that has been given us, to us by the blessed mountains over the years, rich soil for, for growing food. My thoughts always turn to the young ones, the younger generation. And maybe those who need to have a break now and again from New World and pack and save and uh, you know get back into that fun if you were brought up in growing your own food. Just take a look around you and feel and see what's happening around in, in the world. Things are just getting too expensive these days and maybe come out of that comfort zone and say hey I need to budget a little bit better how about I grow my own veggies. But food is food and it's how beautiful it is to grow the, the sustenance of Mother Earth that's been created with your own hands and having your children to enjoy it also. I'm quite quite taken in by the self-sustainability <coughs> and it's part, it fits like a glove of both permacultural and self-sustainability and it's to do with survival, it's to do with options, it's to do with finance, with one, what can one afford and one can just look around at the resources, such a wealth of resources we have in this whole plateau, the heart of this country. I've never heard of a compost toilet before let alone a compost shower, and it's nice <laughs> to say you are what you eat. Well, it depends on how the compost looks at the end of the day, but uh, convergence is open to those those who know as a point of interest. If you've never experienced it before, come. Come with, a, with, a, with an open heart, and you'd be surprised who you will meet and what you'll see, and some things you've never seen before. It is indeed a great calling and a blessing from great Io Matua. Aye. Thank you. Yeah.